Hey guys, I'm Lady T. Welcome back to my channel. This is my first video for the new year, so happy new years to everyone. May your heart be light, your days be bright, and your year be just right. The reason I haven't been posting any videos in the last couple of weeks is because I lost my sister over the holidays to stage 4 breast cancer. So I have been grieving, trying to take it day by day, but I am back. So let's get into this video. <music> Child, I was on the Tucker Taka today and I ran across the video of this pastor in his church drama. So word on the curb is a married Mississippi pastor who was elected to lead East St. Peter Missionary Baptist Church had been fired by the deacon board after he was caught taking some of his church members to the pound town. Now one of the women is allegedly pregnant by Pastor Scott who was having a sexual relationship with then homegirl tried to attack the wife. Now it's unclear why Pastor Scott Mistress was attempting to attack the wife. But twice. And he stood in the pulpit like a mannequin on a display in the mall. Now the side piece have been identified as Yolanda Beavers. Now she have been attending the church since 2019. Now in one of the TikTok videos that I did watch. A woman did leave a comment saying that she was the pastor's sister and that Miss Beaver was a member and apparently the treasurer of the church. But this is all allegedly now. But anywho, let's check out the video, okay? Because they know I'm telling the truth. 
dirt, and the police can't come on private property and ask me to leave if I'm not doing nothing to nobody. That's a private property. That's a private property. The right way is the, the, the right the right way is number one. Number one, the right way is who where is your church role? Where's your church role? You gotta have an active church role. Where's your church role? Where's the secretary of the church? No, no, no. you got two? How you got one? The church secretary is supposed to have one. You haven't been here, but you coming on first Sunday. So how you know who's here in section 34? No, 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 we're gonna, as long as we do it right, I'm okay. I'm okay with right. As long as we do it right. Because you can't just bring folk in here that ain't been in here in, since, September, since September of 2044. You can't do it. And that's not gonna happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm the pastor of the church. I'm the pastor of the church and had not done nothing to nobody. The church will witness. I'm the pastor of the church and had not done nothing to nobody. Nobody. I'm the pastor of the church and have not done no, no, no. Because I have not done nothing. I am the pastor. I'm the pastor of the church. And if I, I, they can't do that, I haven't done anything. I'm the pastor. Okay, come on. I'll talk to you. Come on. So as you've seen in the video, all hell broke loose between the saints and the sinners, leading the county sheriff officers to intervene to attempt to remove Pastor Ricky Scott Sr. and the mistress, who is married to Sharon Scott. Now, after the church tried to put him out for sleeping with the woman in the congregation, despite his infidelity, Sharon continued to stand by her cheating husband. So Sharon Scott stood in the pulpit besides her uh, cheating husband and defending him, telling their church that everyone makes mistakes. Although he made the best that lie in, she said that she also takes responsibility for his actions because they are one. So let's check out that video. strength that keeps you off. Yeah. We're not here asking for 
We, we know everything that has been going on. People have been talking. People have been saying they're going to vote. We're not here to sway your vote to or from. We're here because God is good. Yeah. Yeah. God is good. In the midst of all trials and tribulations, he is so good. Nobody could have helped me come into this church but God. Nobody could have stirred me in the right direction but God. So he is our strength. Yes, you have a pastor. Because we have this this saying in our hearts and in our minds that he's supposed to be the example for the church, right? We, he's supposed to be perfect for the church because his knowledge of the scripture tells us that don't fall, right? But that's not true. God said, all have fallen short. All have fallen short of his glory. Nobody is perfect. Deacons, mothers, members, nobody is perfect. We don't know what God has for us, but we know that we're going to try to do it together. We're going to do it together. gave us some vows, and it says for better or worse. I thought that this was the worst thing. Yes, I did. But God said you're still standing. So you can still speak my word. You're still standing. So it's not the worst. Because he said, I will not put more on you than you can bear. And by me standing here, his word is true. His word is true. So we're asking not for votes. We're asking for forgiveness. We're asking for this to be a testimony for you all to know that whatever you're going through, whoever you feel like is taking you through it, that you can survive because the victory belongs to God. Everything belongs to God. So when people knock you down, don't stay there. Get back up. And tell them how good God is to you and to others. No, we're not perfect. We're not perfect at all. I thank y'all for all that y'all have done. For me and the pastor. Because people look at him as the one that failed. But by us being one, we both failed. We both failed. We failed you all. We failed ourselves. We failed our family. But God is still good. God is still good and he can restore everything that we felt like we lost. On Thursday, the church announced on its Facebook page that they have terminated Pastor Ricky Scott Sr. on January the 8th of 2024 at 6.50 p.m. It seemed that the pastor board of the church did the right thing by voting out the pastor by day and the man whore by night. Lord, what a mess. This reminds me of a movie that's currently on Tubi called The Affair. If you have a moment, please check it out. It's a very good movie. Uh, this situation is sad on all angles. Whatever happened to decency and order? I seen screaming, random profanity, threats of being removed by force, getting in each other's face the mistress being pulled down the aisle with her breasts and bra and bare belly exposed none of this is decent and orderly there is no way in hell that i would have stayed in that church and listened to him talk this would have been my last day as a member or as a visitor the danger with having a pastor whom is not truly humble after his mistakes is that his bad decision snowballs into greater issues that can end up impacting and damaging more lives. You know, watching the video my heart ate for the children in front of the camera who's witnessing all this mess, knowing that it could damage their relationship with God in the future. 
You know, my heart ached for those children who was forced to experience this firsthand. I hope that this one incident doesn't have a negative impact on the faith walk with Christ. I hope those in leadership that's claiming to be called remember that you will be accountable for the lost souls. Unfortunately, situations like this is one of the reasons why church is dying. There are too many wolves in sheep clothes that continue to turn people away. Someone should have snatched that mic from him. Your nonsense calls all this in this church and you want to speak your peace and talk about what Sunday people attended. The pastor should be ashamed. And if he was a real man of God, he would want to take a break until he gets his life and in his walk with God in order. Now, in the wife's video, you can hear some of the members in the background with the hallelujah. Amen. And those be the very members that will make every excuse for him. Oh, the devil tempted him. Humans make mistakes. We not perfect. I don't want to hear any of those excuses. Yes, nobody is perfect. But as a pastor leading a flock of parishioners, he was supposed to be above the rapport and lead by example. It also amazed me how when these pastors get busted behaving in, in the worst way, they feel like they should feel qualified to lead a church. How are you going to try and help others get their soul and get their life in order and yours isn't? You can't teach this message when you're not doing it. You have to practice what you preach. There shouldn't be a vote to remove him. If he had any dignity and grace, he would have resigned immediately. The congregation can be so sheeply in armor with the pastor and the ministers that they will go to lengths to protect them rather than to hold them accountable. Oh, you better not talk about my pastor. That's my pastor. Don't you talk about my pastor like that. Yeah, he don't do no wrong. Mm -mm, you know, he don't. Yeah, pastor came on over here when I was sick and he prayed over me. And then he over there feeding the hungry and he gave out some coats and all that. And then after that, he probably was at Shirley house between her legs or at TJ house bend over. Real quick, I want to talk about the first lady and the mistress. You know, I never understood why birds get mad at the wife wanting to fight them. You knew that demon was Barry. Why the hell you mad at her? The wife didn't knock you up. Miss First Lady Sharon, why the hell are you staying with him? In a few months, he gonna be bringing you the side baby to babysit while he at his other whole house. This isn't a we all fall short situation. Your husband intentionally knew what he was doing. He is selfish and don't give a damn about you. He didn't care about bringing you back home any diseases or heartache after entering another woman raw. That man is only sorry he was caught and that he had to resign from a good paying pastor job with status. I can't believe she stood there and said we fail you as if she was the one stepping out on the marriage. Some of these first ladies, they only care about status and keeping their first lady title. Forget about the embarrassment and potential diseases. Heck, I know two women, first ladies right now, who are married to a gay man. And she knows he's attracted to men and claimed it. He's been delivered. Absolutely no way I will be there shouting and doing all kinds of things for this man who likes to be bent over. And please don't get me started on these great pastors, these mistresses, and these side babies. Man, I could write a book or produce an award-winning movie on all the stuff I have personally witnessed in the black church. First Lady Sharon, pack up your stuff. Pack up your children's stuff and baby, just leave. Leave. He's going to do this again at the next church, but he's going to be more careful and cover his steps. All right, guys, I want to hear your thoughts on this story. So let's continue the conversation in the comment section. And as always, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And thanks for watching.